Edgar. <laughs> I just have the I just default to the whole like Edgar pronunciation. You know, like G A R Gur instead of Gar. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like you're from a completely different place in the country now. Yeah. But on to the match, Dill <laughs> versus Angel Cortez. <laughs> All right, Dill opening up very strong here, 19 percent. All right, what's he gonna do right here? Oh, whoa! He actually read on um, what Cortez was gonna do, but okay, Banana get in the way. Banana toss the spot dodge. I guess that's a true combo. <laughs> and just showing the uh, showing those new Diddy tactics. Ooh, he had a chance with that to follow up the needles with something really nasty. Mm. I, again, it doesn't seem like Angel stressed out those jabs as long as he could. He could, probably could have. Uh, Earned himself a few more percent. Nice. And the reason why he confirmed that that worked, he did banana to down tilt, but down tilt hit at range zero, which is as close as possible. That's what let the standing grab actually land. If he had hit the down tilt there at max range, he would have needed to dash grab, making it a not true combo. Which means that Dill would have been able to escape with his own jab. Yeah, so Angel just showed his uh, reaction right there. This guy is such a. Uh, um, this is just an expert with his character. A lot of ditties, like, they'll, they'll, they'll throw the banana and think it's a free grab regardless of the scenario, and it's not so. Exactly. But if the opponent doesn't know, then you do, you do it, but I'm just saying. Oh, ooh, nice red guard. You beat that side beat. Here we go. Almost got the almost got the bouncing fish. Oh, he got it there. Yeah, another one. One good fish deserves another. <laughs> one fish, two fish. A single jab to get him off stage. <laughs> Sound like a Dr. Seuss book just <laughs> Oh, that was a very, very Ooh. questionable spot to pull out the banana, but somehow it actually converted when he, when into. He dropped it. I couldn't see it. No, he, he did the, the regular pull, but the, it, it went right into the light of the, the that. Yeah, exactly. Strangely distracting uh, background vision. That's why a lot of people hate Final Destination. Yeah, it gets kind of crazy with that. But I don't. I just don't. Why would he pull banana there and think he can not get hit? And Bill just stood there and. And stand at the banana fall on his head. I, I don't think he saw it either. <laughs> Ooh, he went straight up on that uh, on that up air. And Dill takes his sock without losing too much. Oh, tossing it down, making it disappear. He's gonna have to find time to pull it again. But right now he's making do without the banana. All right, that's a grab. Oh, oh no, he tried to pummel. Why? Don't don't pummel at this percent. You're fighting a top level player. This guy's gonna mash out. All right, good job getting out of that scenario. All right. Wearing, wearing that chop fin. He's doing a good job of minimizing the follow-ups from um, the Angel Cortez's down tilts. Oh, just laying right in front Ooh, of him. Nice hold on the F smash. Oh, oh that was close. so close. He, let's, let's. I, Angel timed it a bit wrong. I think that was on Angel's fault. That was uh, basically yeah. his issue right there. That was, that was definitely game. Slapping the banana away. <laughs> he wants no part of his own items. All right, buy himself some time to take out the... Banana there. Uh, he, he tried to read the roll, but was facing the wrong way. Single single down tilt to dissuade any kind of advancement there. All right, building up the nice damage. That turn oh, up grab. smash. Maximum charge time. And I feel like that was necessary. I feel like probably any, probably like 10 frames less of charge time might have actually kept Dill alive there. So I right, yeah, felt yeah, like that was right. optimal. Good finish by Angel Cortez. Absolutely. But I did like the way Dill was playing. He he did not get completely wrecked in a neutral or anything like that. Like when when Angel went for those down tilts, usually you see a lot of shenanigans coming off those down tilt follow-ups, and he didn't really get hit by too many of those. Oh man. Let's see if he can uh you know keep the ball rolling here. Game two oh. back to FD. I guess they don't really uh mind the flashing lights. This is Dill's counter pick, so I'm sure he certainly feels like he was he did very well in this in the first game. All right, Dill taking the extent of the damage here, which is not a very, it's not obviously not a good start, but my the point that I'm um, stressing is it's a really bad start for Dill and Sheik because Sheik absolutely needs to be in the lead at all times for her to feel like the match is under control because. It's going to take her probably an extra 100, 120% from here anyway to kill. So this is really bad right now. Just hopping right over her head, looking like uh, two, you know, middle schoolers or, or, or preschoolers playing playing in the yard, just playing hopscotch over each other. <laughs> D Dill needs to take advantage of these um, these side beats Angel's throwing out right now. They're, they're definitely within Sheik's ability to punish those. I feel like Angel Cortez is just uh, exhibiting his level of comfort. He's just doing side beats. Yeah, just, no, he feels no. a little autopilot right now, but he's getting away with it, so why not? Oh, that was funny. Be reversing it right into a hit. Nice, good back air there from Dill. 
Oh, he read the air dodge. I, couldn't punish it. I thought he was going to do an up smash, to be honest with you. But I guess, you know, it's one of those things that you have to really trust. Now, that was a side beat waiting to happen. He's got, like, when he went on the lowest stage like that, he should have known. Yeah. But again, you know, side B is one of those uh, commitment based moves. Maybe Angel just wasn't feeling it there. All right. The we'll follow we get from this. Uh, double needle to remove his uh, stage positioning. And now it's coming into play Ooh. here. No, barely does it in time. No, nice. oh, sending him from left to right, right to left. Doesn't kill, but that's side B right there. You saw we forwarded it into a shield and it got grabbed. I felt like that was only unsafe because Angel tried to do something else after that. Oh, I that felt like he could have gotten out of it. There he's going to try. Oh, he's going to toss oh, it up. Oh, that could have been very nasty. Oh, way too high of a percent there. He's going to have to start, you know, down tilting into aerials. Still barely, like... The living, uh, dodging death right there. Nice power shield there. All right. Try Waiting. to re-grab. You saw that grab? You see now that's that shows you right there how short the the grab range of Diddy's throw is. Now you see how we grabbed him and didn't throw him. That was a conscious decision by Dill to enact the strategy from the grab release because he figures at this percent the the th the damage that I get from the throw isn't really that much of a of a, of a game changer. You know, so he figured, let me let me try to release him and uh, gain some kind of surprise attack from there. So, to be honest with you, I kind of like that. All right, now Dill has control. He's at 140, well, 150. None of these. Oh, oh that is. Was, oh, he could have just. Jumped. There was no reason to air dodge at any point of that throw. He could have bouncing fished off stage. He could have double jumped. Done any of that. Yeah. Now his lead has just completely dissipated. Now it's relatively even. See, that's again, that is an instance where. It's an internal battle between your 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 better judgment and your motor function. And your motor function just takes over. I'm pretty sure he didn't actively think that dodging was a good idea. I felt like his body just said, come on, air dodge, panic, panic, air dodge. And that's what happened. That's unfortunate way to lose that stock. But uh, he's hanging in there, all dealing right. all the damage he needs. Into Cortez side B, like it's going out of style. <laughs> nah, that that's side B is never going to go out of style. Yeah, here it goes again. And he just... Does that punch it? That right. should be the death of Angel Cortez. If Dill can just wait till the high percents and wait for him to do it and then just go hit him with a diamond cutter or something really ridiculous, he could just win this this game right now. Right. A nice right. throw. Oh, right now it doesn't look like he's ready to win anything. All right. High rage. All right, he tried for that dash grab, but he probably deactivated the grab too early. All right, what we got here? Oh, that was close. A little clash there. Sending him off stage. That grenade. Not going to do a whole lot. Oh, and that's, <laughs> that's going to take that. Unfortunate. Angel Cortez looking pretty sharp here all throughout. And John Numbers on stream. He's already. They're already ready. Well, John Numbers was.